Alright, today I'm going to do a quick review of the Prisma eCarry 3D printer that I got for 130 bucks on Amazon. Alright, so this is the eCarry. I found it on Amazon. Uh, real quickly, I'll just go through the things that it came with. So obviously, you get the printer, and the printer is fully assembled when you get it. Um, it does come with a spool of PLA. Uh, the color, I think, is, is kind of random, but I got yellow, which I'm, I'm pretty happy with. Um, it does come with a spool holder uh, to hold the PLA next to the machine while it's printing. Uh, the machine comes with an SD card. On Amazon it said it would be 1 gig, but it actually is a 4 gig SD card, so I was pretty happy about that. Um, comes with a little scraper tool to help get your prints off, even though this tool is not great because it doesn't have a, a, a sharp edge, it's a blunt edge, so getting under the part to pull it off uh, doesn't work very well. You also get a USB to SD converter, so the SD card that runs uh, in the printer and holds your G-code for the prints. Uh, you can, it's easier to use or load the G-code on the SD card with that USB converter. Um, and then you get a simple glue stick. Uh, nice to put this on the glass surface to make the adhesion better while you're printing. Um, and with that, we'll get into discussing a little bit more about the printer um, and my thoughts on it. Alright, so the real goal of this video is to see is the cheapest printer that I can find on Amazon really worth buying? Can it print useful parts? Um, and can it print things that we could use uh, every day? So I set two real criteria to kind of decide if this was a good printer, if it was worth the money uh, that I paid for it. And those two criteria are really just one, will it print anything at all? And really that tests out the hardware that it comes with. Are these motors good enough? The extruder good enough? Um, and then second, we want to look at can we design a part and print really any custom part that we want to make on this 3D printer? And so I'm going to try and answer those two questions to decide whether this is worth paying the $130 or $150 that it's listed as now um, for this printer. So first I set out to just print one of the prints that come loaded, preloaded on the SD card that comes with this printer. Um, and so the and I was able to print it fairly easy uh, without really any modifications to the 3D printer and I just printed this little ribbon cup and now I'm using it to hold some of the tools that uh, I keep with the printer. So we were able to print something pretty easily, pretty quickly, right out of the box, um, no big hassle. And you might be able to tell at the bottom of this is kind of warped. Um, and that was just due to poor bed adhesion. I was just printing directly on the glass that it came with, but it was still able to stick enough to, to complete the entire print. So the next question we had is, can we design a custom part and print that custom part? So we were indeed able to. I designed a little ski boot, and then I downloaded the software that this printer comes with, um, loaded the STL into the software, and was able to get it to print. That wasn't the easiest process because the instruction manual is all in Chinese and I don't speak any Chinese, um, but there is a video that's easy enough to follow along the visual um, and you can load your STLs into that program, slice them, add supports. Um, this we didn't print with any supports so you can see maybe there's a little bit of uh, poor quality that come, comes out. Um, other things, this piece was printed with support just because of the geometry um, and it actually came out quite good and the supports worked quite well. So overall, I think this was uh, a, a really solid 3D printer, especially for $130. Um, there were a couple things that I had to get figured out once I got it. I tightened up all the screws on the 3D printer, 
Um, you do have to mess with the Z-axis head leveling. Um, and there's another guy on YouTube, and I'll link to his video, that has a great description of kind of how to adjust that, and things you might want to do with this printer if you're having trouble getting it running. But for me, it worked right out of the box. Um, there are a couple things that aren't ideal about this printer. There's this ribbon cable um, that looks just very prone to being accidentally grabbed or snagged by something. Um, the next thing I probably would like to see something different on this printer is the, the user interface and the, the display that's on here. It's just a knob that also acts as a button and while it works fine it's really really not great. Um, but yeah, for $130, really solid printer happy with the purchase. If you're looking at buying one, I would recommend it. Um, yeah, thanks. If you have any other questions, uh, leave them in the comments.